Hey, how's it going? This is Lee Curtis. I'm going to do a quick video um, about embedding a form which you've just created in MailChimp into um, your blogger website. So, two things. Um, you can see here the level of account that I have. It's a free account that I'm using. Um, and I just to point out to you the MailChimp dashboard. So, click this one. I've already created a form previously, but it's straightforward. You've got your uh, boxes here, which you can add, take away uh, as you like. There you go. So, take away. Okay, whenever you create a form, you need to go to share it. You've got the options of um, putting this link on your website, which takes you to this page. This is the page that uh, MailChimp hosts your form on. It's always going to be there. Um, I personally don't like that. It's too wide. It's the whole page. It's blank. Um, there's nothing really eye-catching there. The most eye-catching thing, obviously, is the uh, icon here at the bottom for MailChimp. So I'll just shut that down. What we want to do is come over to this uh, button here. Click that one. We're going to do classic form. Um, get rid of the title. All fields, which are the two that we... Uh, inserted previously get rid of that one get rid of that one form width there we go not going to bother with any of that this is your code so you click that it highlights immediately for you control C for copy you need to come over into notepad or something similar and paste all of the code So, right near the top, just under the uh, closing style uh, brackets, we have div ID. You need to copy this, so control C for copy. Once you've done that, you've got to come over into Blogger. Um, we're in the Blogger dashboard now. And uh, what should we do? You can even put it in a post. So let's just create a post, any post. Uh, new post, sorry. Um, so you can do that. Um, need to be on the comp compose tab, sorry. You don't have to be. But there you go, highlight that. We're going to color that red and uh, largest. And we'll center it. Why not make it bold as well? I like it bold. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter twice. I'm going to go back over here to the HTML bit. Get our cursor underneath the uh, the code for the text that you just put on the page so it was control C to copy back over here control V to paste and we're going to save that and go to publish okay so we just published our latest post you go to our website and check out uh, the post, see where the form is. So home, and there we have it. There's all the uh, the code that we've just inserted. So you can put it on a um, within a post if you want. But most importantly, there is your button able to change color, and you're not left with the the default grey born looking thing. Um, you can also put this um, 
transform into a page like what I've done here this is my form uh, looks a bit better now I think than uh, the blank page that we had before from MailChimp obviously this is not finished this is just some examples just to show you what you can do um, I've nested all of these separate elements within a table and I've put it on the page and you can then continue uh, putting some more content on your page if you want to so that's how we do it